Throughout the month of February, Eyewitness News is showcasing remarkable women from right here in northeastern and central Pennsylvania. Eyewitness News morning anchor Kelly Burns sits down with the first of our four finalists from our Remarkable Women competition. Potatoes and green beans. Green beans. For Eileen Miller, family is everything. The people you take care of and fight for, even when they're no longer here. Like always, he gave me a huge big kiss and hug and said, I love you. And he walked out the door, and I never knew that that would be the last kiss or hug that I would ever receive for him. On July 5, 2010, her family forever changed. That tractor trailer was on the road, off the road, lane switching. Finally, had come to almost where my son was and had tried to overcorrect. It jackknifed and came across the two lanes of highway, a grassy medium. He hit my son head on and then pushed him back into an embankment. That moment, her 21-year-old son, Paul, was killed by a distracted truck driver. And my whole world came crashing down um, because somebody was grossly negligent. Her world turned upside down again, exactly two years later, when her husband, Paul, was diagnosed with ALS. But for Eileen and her husband, the only way to keep moving was by turning tragedy into action, living by these simple words. It's not about what I can't do. It's about what I can. Together, Eileen and Paul now advocate for safety behind the wheel. Alongside state representatives, she's been working on a bill in Harrisburg that would make it illegal to hold a cell phone while driving. She speaks at local high schools, informing students about the dangers of distracted driving, and advocates in Washington and Harrisburg for ALS awareness and funding. You know, I put Cheerios, Honey Nut, and I grind it down. All while taking care of her husband. She's my driver, my caregiver. I still try and do as much as I can myself. But it's getting harder. She tells me when something bad happens, you can either sit at home and cry or do something to make a difference so others won't have to go through the pain you felt. It makes you feel good knowing that you're doing something that's going to make the world a better place and a kinder place. And nearly 10 years later, Eileen is sticking to the last promise she made her son. I then. Um whispered in his ear that, you know, there was no way that he should die like that and that um, I was going to find out what happened to him and that I would fight for change. In Scranton, Kelly Byrne, Eyewitness News. And join us next Tuesday when we introduce you to another local remarkable woman.